What's up guys, quick one for you today. I'm gonna to show you how you can fix your bootcamp problem of not having Wi-Fi when booted into Windows 10. To do this, you're going to need your MacBook Pro or your Mac Mini, iMac, whatever Mac device you've been using, and then a USB drive with at least eight gigabytes of free space. This process is going to involve leaving Windows 10 and going back into Mac OS to use the Bootcamp Assistant tool again. So if you are having problems getting in and out of Mac OS and Windows 10, go check out this video up here and that should answer that for you. For any other Bootcamp related questions that you might have, check out the playlist linked in the pinned comment below this video. And if you have any other questions, just drop those in the comments below. This video is for you if you are going down to your Wi-Fi settings and you do not have any Wi-Fi network showing up at all because the Windows 10 software is not accessing your Mac's Wi-Fi hardware in order to make a connection. On my bootcamp partition, everything is working as normal as I've already installed the relevant software that's needed. But in this video, we're gonna show you how to get that software onto the USB so you can then install it on Windows 10. So next thing we wanna do is boot back up the Mac. Hit Alt to boot back into Mac. Go to Macintosh HD. Once we're back into Mac OS, you wanna insert your USB into your Mac's USB drive. And then we have, this one is currently a Windows installer drive. I'm gonna go up to Disk Utility. I'm then going to format this. I'm just gonna call this Bootcamp quickly. And I'm gonna format it as MS-DOS. Could format this as XFAT if you wanted to. That drive is now formatted. Then we're going to go back up to our Spotlight search and we're going to search Bootcamp Assistant. We're then presented with the same Bootcamp setup process that you'll be familiar with from the previous Bootcamp installation video. And then here we have the options of what we'd like to create on this USB disk. So we have our Create Windows 10 or Later installation disk. Then we have our Download the Latest Windows Support Software from Apple. This is the one that we want. And then we have Remove Windows 10. We don't want that. So we just want to select download the latest Windows support software from Apple, and then we're gonna install that onto the USB drive. This will then create a Windows installation USB that we can then use when within Windows 10 and install any relevant drivers that we need for our keyboard. So I'm just gonna hit download and continue. I'm gonna select the SanDisk Ultramedia Bootcamp, which is mine, it's in disk two. Then we'll need to wait for this download to complete. At the end of the support software downloading, you'll be asked to put in your admin password. Very simple, get that done. And then we have a little prompt just saying, install this Windows support software after installing Windows. Then we can hit quit. Now we're very simply going to go and eject the bootcamp drive. And then we are going to shut down from Mac OS and boot back into Windows 10. Okay, so we're gonna hit power on. Hold down the Alt key. and we're gonna choose Windows 10 to boot into. So now that we're in Windows 10, once we are in Windows 10, we can then put in our USB drive. It will then come down the bottom that it has appeared. We can open that in File Explorer. Then we want to go to the Bootcamp subfolder, then hit the Setup Startup Packages. This will then give us a standard installation wizard. This then reads, install missing files or repair damaged files and data, repair. The screen may flash black for a couple of seconds. We are getting back to installing Bootcamp. Our Bootcamp installer is now complete, so that means that we have all the Windows support software installed for running drivers for our keyboard, our sound devices, and our Wi-Fi. You must restart your system for the configuration changes to your Bootcamp services to take effect. Click yes to restart. With that software installed, now all the drivers will work for our keyboard, sound, and Wi-Fi devices. That is it for this video. If you have any other questions regarding Bootcamp, as I mentioned, go check out this playlist up here. It's also linked in the pinned comments below. Any other questions you might have, drop those in the comments. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, I'm out.